All right, got my Punisher mug. Mm. Man, that's hot, hot. Okay, let's do this. Hey everyone, welcome to Comics with Bueller. As always, I'm Bueller. Today's my top 10 picks for new comics coming out February 17th, 2021. This is where I show you some great covers, some great stories, and some spec books you might want to be on the lookout for. If you're new to our channel, do me a favor, subscribe right now. It does help us out quite a bit. And also turn on that notification button because you don't want to miss the next video. I haven't made a video in almost a week because of the storm that hit our area. I'll tell you a little bit about that at the end of this video. But if you can't tell already, I'm all jacked up on on coffee thank god yet again so let's not waste any more time let's take a look at my top 10 picks for new comics coming out february 17th 2021 very first book up our list is king in black number four brought to you by donnie gates i believe there's only one more in this series i think it's only a five or six i think it's five issues i'm not for sure but in this one it looks like we're going to get some x-men there's not too much information around this book what goes on there were some spoilers out there a little bit but i don't know if that's the case well the way usually i have read this one but because monday was a holiday i didn't receive my preview copies of the uh marvel book so i haven't read this one yet so i can't tell you what happened Hopefully I get it today and I'll be able to tell you exactly what happens on Wednesday or something like that. I don't know. But it looks pretty cool. We're all buying it. Now I'm getting it. You guys all know the deal. We got a few different covers. Let's take a look. We got the regular cover, which is awesome. And then we have the 1 in 50 Dragon cover. I like that one quite a bit. And then there's also the Rasha. The Raza. I still can't say it. But it's a variant that looks pretty cool. And I wouldn't mind picking that one up. But eh, what are you going to do? This one has a regular cover price of $4.99. Rahaza. I don't know. <laughs> Next book up our list is another King in Black. This is Quenum versus Carnage number one, the second print. And really, this is only on here because it's a cover by. I read this issue when it came out. It was okay. It wasn't too special. But the variant for this one, which is the second print, looks just awesome. This is by Unhook Lee. If you can find this one, you might want to pick it up. There's also a Virgin variant. I don't know if it's exclusive or a ratio. I don't know for sure. I didn't find the information. I looked and it wasn't there. But it looks awesome. I definitely want to pick it up. It looks like that uh, whole uh, Body Works things that they do at science museums with the veins and the muscles and the tissue. I took my kids to go see one of those when they were really young. It freaked them out. It was awesome. Anyway, this looks pretty cool. Like I said, it's a second print. This one has a regular cover price of $3.99. Next book up is X-Men Legends. This one looks awesome. I'm really looking forward to this. I did have a chance to actually look at this one. This one is 90s goodness. Look at the artwork. You'll love it when you flip open the pages. If you're a Summers fans or the Scott Summers and the family, there you go. You got Scott, you got Cyclops, you got Havoc. You got Cable in there. They're all in there. It's kind of their story. I'm really looking forward to you guys getting this one. I think you're going to like it. We need some good standalone X-Men stories, and this is what you're going to get. You're going to love the artwork, like I said. We got a few different covers. Let's go ahead and take a look. We got the regular cover, which is just fine. I actually like the action figure variant. I'm not a huge big fan of those, but I like this one. It definitely looks like the old ones that we used to get at the KB Toy Store, one of my favorites. And then we also have the J. Scott Campbell variants. He's actually got like six different ones we'll show a couple of them here i believe you can go to his website and order them straight through there easiest way to do it they all look great they have all have the uh ladies on there and a couple dudes here and there but the ladies is kind of what we're looking at anyway it looks awesome definitely pick those up this one has a regular cover price of four dollars and 99 cents next one up on the list is batman catwoman number three brought to you by tom king I really don't know what's going on in this book. Apparently, we got Batman, Catwoman, the Joker, Phantasm, and stuff like that. I just had to put a DC book on the list because if I didn't do it, people would get upset at me. And I'm a Batman fan. I'm a Joker fan, so they're in there. So I'm going to put it on the list. And it definitely looks pretty cool, so I might have to pick this one up. I did miss issue one and two. I'm waiting for them to be in the dollar bins. Won't be very long before they are. I'll get them. And then I'll get this one as well. We got a few different covers. Let's take a look. We got the regular cover, which is awesome. And then we have the Jim Lee cover. I like that one as well. That's also why it kind of popped for me and wanted me to put this on the list. And then there's a Travis Cherist variant, the close-up of Catwoman. I like that one as well. Might want to pick that one up. This one has a regular cover price of $4.99. Next book up on the list is Haha ha, Number 2, brought to you by W. Maxwell Prince. I was a big fan of Number 1, and Number 2 is another standalone story. Yes, if you're a fan of Number 1 and was looking forward to learning more about that character, you're not going to find anymore because they are standalone stories all by themselves for all the different issues. So there you go. I did read this one. I really enjoyed it. It's about a lady... 
don't know if you want to call her a clown dancer, I don't know, something like that. It's very tragic, it involves a little girl as well. It didn't appeal to me as much as the first one did, but it was still a really good story, so you're definitely going to want to pick these up. I love them. We got a couple different covers for you. We have the regular cover, which is just fine, and then we have the B cover as well, and I'm probably going to pick up that one, but honestly, I might just get them both because I did that for the first one as well, and I think it's going to be a wonderful series in years to come. This one has a regular cover price of $3.99. Next one on the list is Hollow Heart number one, brought to you by Vault Comics. And this one, L, this character, used to be alive, but now it's just a bunch of organs that are living inside of this bio suit. And apparently, it doesn't feel that well. They're in a lot of pain and all this stuff. But you can see the picture right here. And then there's this mechanic that comes along and feels as though they can help out L, the organ bio suit person make them feel a little bit better and the mechanic is kind of deciding what's best for them or what's best for them i don't know kind of something like that it looks kind of interesting i'm definitely going to give it a shot i don't know it sounds pretty cool it's got a few different covers let's go ahead and take a look we got the regular cover which is just awesome and then we have the rom variant one you guys know look at that it looks like rom issue one that's pretty cool so i don't mind that one if i can find that one that's definitely one i'm going to get this one has a regular cover price of three dollars and 99 cents Next one up on our list is The Last Ronin number 2, brought to you by IDW. This is the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle one. And yes, I did actually end up buying number 1. I got it for like pretty cheap, for like 4 bucks. So I was pretty happy to get it at half the cover price. So I figured I might as well put number 2 on here, because I'm probably going to pick it up. I like the story. In this one, we dive a little bit deeper into the past. We find out exactly what went down with all the other turtles. And there's a uh, an, uh, an ally that kind of pops up, but you're not expecting... And we'll have to see how that goes. We got a few different covers. Let's go ahead and take a look. We got the regular cover, which is just fine. And then we have the Unhook Lee cover. I like that one quite a bit. And then we have the Suyan cover. That's another great looking one. This one has a regular cover price, and this is the one that hurts me quite a bit, of $8.99. Next book up on our list is Black Friday number one, brought to you by Scout Comics. And if you're a, a retailer like I used to be, Black Friday is the day after Thanksgiving when everyone comes in and buys all the bargain basement deals and makes a huge mess and rips everything apart. And they call it Black Friday because that's the day when companies go into the black because they run in the red for the previous part of the year. But in this book, this takes place after Black Friday, so the cleanup crew that comes in to clean up all the mess of all the crap that people just threw around in the shelves and on the floor, they gotta go take care of it. But apparently, there's a lot of uh, dark, evil, negative energy that's falling around in this superstore where these people are working, and it's exactly what the corporate office wants. Does that make any sense at all? No, but this book looks fantastic, and I'm definitely gonna get it. We got one cover for this, and that's all you need in the regular cover price is three dollars and 99 cents sticking with scout comics we have the recount number two this is brought to you by jonathan hedrick and i actually had a chance to talk to jonathan in december a really nice guy i really love talking to him it's been a while since number one came out number one came out in december and now we here we are in february we got number two out the basis of this story is there's a newly elected president and he gets assassinated right away and there's a whole group of people that want to assassinate him, which they did, and they want to assassinate anyone and everyone who had anything to do with him getting elected, including people who voted for him. So in this book right here, I pretty much know why they took a few months off, to be totally honest. But you know what? The first one was great. Like I said, I talked to Jonathan it's not a political book. It's not in reference to anything going on right now. That's actually a question I asked him straight to his face. He says, no, it has nothing to do with any current politics. It's just a standalone story that I just wanted to write. I've had it in my mind for a while, and here it is. It's a great book. If you missed number one, I think the second print came out last week, and here we go. We have number two coming out as well. Definitely pick it up. You're going to like it quite a bit. The regular cover price on this one is $3.99. Last book up on our list is Shadow Doctor number one. This is brought to you by Peter Calloway and Aftershock Comics. Let me tell you this. I usually don't read the uh, description of the books verbatim, but I'm going to go ahead and do it for this one because this book sounds really interesting. And I don't want to miss anything. It says, 
Years in the making, this is a true story of the writer Peter Calloway's grandfather, uh, Nathaniel. That's awesome. So it's a true story. Calloway, a black man who graduated from medical school in the early 1930s, unable to get work in any Chicago hospital because he was black and unable to secure a loan from a blank to start his own practice because he was black, he turns to another source of money in Prohibition Area Chicago, the Mafia, run by none other than Al Capone. As Calloway himself says, on one hand, this story represents the promise of America. On the other hand, it shows the worst of it. This story looks great. I'm definitely looking forward to this. I'm hoping I can pick it up. Like I said, it's by Aftershock Comics. True story. Definitely going to get this one. we got a few different covers for this one, but really, I just like the regular cover, and that's the one I'm going to get. And this one has a regular cover price of $4.99. All right, everyone, so that's my top 10 picks for all the new comics coming out February 17, 2021. Let me know what you thought. Let me know what you bought. Let me know what I forgot because I want to know. I want to say thank you to everyone who uh, sent their uh, well wishes and stuff during last weekend because we did have a uh, big storm that kind of hit our way. And the power was out for many days over the weekend. It got below freezing and everything, and there was tons of ice, and the trees were just coming down dozens of them just limbs everywhere and there's still power out all around the region i know our buddy bomb his power is still out he actually went to a hotel with his wife and uh, family and stuff like that and he's staying there till wednesday so he doesn't get his power back till wednesday mine finally came back uh the other day uh yesterday afternoon after going out twice uh for the majority of the weekend Definitely crazy, you know, and I didn't get to make coffee, but when the power did pop back on for a few hours, I made coffee right away. <laughs> I had to have some. Tried to warm up my house as much as I could, but what are you going to do? You're frozen in there and you're stuck. But anyway, the storm is kind of making its way across America right now, so please be safe. Stay home. You know, uh, get a bunch of coffee or uh, stuff you need, and, uh, you know, if you can build a fire, make a fire. I didn't have a fireplace, so I just... Uh, sat there with a little blanket wrapped around here and stuff like that but anyway i'm fine i'm uh, happy to be back making the video sorry we didn't have a coffee video on uh, monday obviously we couldn't shoot it don't no power nothing to do so what are you gonna do just sit there and wait till the power comes back on all right everyone appreciate your time do me a favor don't forget to like and subscribe you know what to do i'll see you next time bye